Are you looking for more information about the history of Vera Beach, Florida? Maybe you're curious how it came to be. Maybe you're a history nerd like my husband. Either way, this video is for you. I'm gonna take you on a quick journey back in time to discover how Vera Beach came to be. Hi, I'm Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team, a realtor here serving the Space and Treasure Coast area of beautiful Florida. And hopefully this video will give you a couple chuckles and a lot of great information about this wonderful area and how it came to be so wonderful and how we got to where we are today. If you like this information and you want more, um, make sure you stay tuned and stay in the know. Click that subscribe button below. Go ahead and do it now so you don't forget. Vera Beach, Florida, also known as the gem of Florida's Treasure Coast, is a charming coastal town with a rich history that is as colorful as the town's famous sunsets. The area was originally inhabited by the Aegis and Seminole tribes who thrived off of the bountiful fishing and hunting opportunities in the region. A group of settlers from the New England area, also known as the Bostonians, arrived in Vero Beach in the late 1800s with nothing but their dreams and a strong craving for seafood. They stumbled upon this little piece of paradise complete with pristine beaches, lush vegetation, and an abundance of fish and wildlife. They looked at each other and said, well, this is it, we're never leaving, and thus, the first permanent settlement in Vero Beach was established. They quickly established a thriving community and built the first hotel and post office in the area because there's one thing New Englanders love more than seafood, it's a good old fashioned post office. As the years passed, Vero Beach continued to grow and attract more and more visitors. In the 1920s, the town was officially incorporated and began to develop into a popular tourist destination. This was the era of the flapper dresses, jazz music, and speakeasies, and Vero Beach was no exception. This era saw the construction of many grand homes and estates many of which can still be found throughout the area today. Many luxurious resorts and hotels were also built during this time, including the famous Vero Beach Hotel. The town attracted many celebrities and socialites, including the notorious Al Capone. So I've got another video for you if you'd like more information on some things to do in Vero Beach if you're visiting or if you're local. Go check it out. It includes a visit to a local history museum as well. So, Vero Beach was also an important center of citrus production. The local economy was based mainly on the citrus industry, and many of the early settlers were farmers, and this industry played a crucial role in the town's growth and development over the years. The area's warm climate and fertile soil made an ideal location for growing oranges, grapefruits, and other citrus fruits. The aerospace industry also played a significant role in Vero Beach's history. Piper Aircraft, one of the world's leading manufacturers of small aircraft, was founded right here in Vero Beach in 1927. The company was a major employer in the area for many years and its impact on the local economy was significant. During World War II, Vero Beach was home to a naval training center which brought many servicemen and their families to the area. After the war, retirees and families began to move into the area and many of these servicemen from the naval tra training center and their families chose to stay in the area, leading to population boom. It was like the wild west of Florida, except instead of cowboys, it was retirees, and instead of guns, it was golf clubs. This boom led to the development of many new residential neighborhoods and the expansion of the town's infrastructure. So in the decades that followed, Vero Beach continued to grow and develop. The town saw the construction of new schools, churches, and community centers, as well as the expansion of its business district. Vero Beach has a strong tradition of volunteerism and community service. From the early days of the Bostonians to the present day, residents of Vero Beach have always been active in working to make their community a better place. Vero Beach is also known for its rich artistic heritage. The town is home to many artists and art galleries and hosts many art festivals and events all throughout the year. Vero Beach has a rich history of environmental conservation as well. The Indian River Lagoon, 160 
56 mile long estuary that runs along the coast of Florida is home to over 4,000 species of plants and animals and is considered one of the most biodiverse estuaries in North America. The community has been actively working to preserve and protect the Indian River Lagoon for many, many years. Vero Beach features an interesting mix of modern and historic architecture, from the colorful beachside cottage to grand estates to the charming downtown streets. The town has also been a popular filming location for many movies and TV shows over the years due to its picturesque setting and interesting mix of architecture. So today, Vero Beach is a vibrant and thriving community that's proud of its rich history. Visitors can explore the town's many historical sites such as the Vero Beach Museum of Art and the Indian River County Historical Society. There are also several annual events that celebrate the town history such as Vero Beach Centennial Celebration and the Heritage Festival. So, in conclusion, Vero Beach is a town with a rich history that is as diverse as it is interesting and has something for everyone. So pack your bags, grab your sunscreen, and come see for yourself why Vero Beach is a place where history meets modern day and why so many people love it here. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.